holy balls! <laughs> wow. Yeah, they'll spike you a little bit, unlike the shiners. Very good. Cool saw, we got a little bit of an issue right now. Also, when you look out there, you do not see the swarms of bait fish in this general vicinity. They don't follow you around when you walk around. And that's likely because we put a handful of bass, five to 10 pounders in here the last month and a half to add to what's already in here. And they mowed down all them bait fish. So today we are going to take care of that in a big way. We're actually gonna to go to the bait shop right now, the bait shop. We're going to the hatchery right now, me and Coleslaw, and I'm gonna get the biggest haul of bait fish we have ever put in this pond right here. It'll be a good opportunity. I talked to Roll up there from Overton Fisheries and he said this is the best time to stock them because all these bait fish can get in here and the bass's metabolism isn't super fast right now, which is what we're trying to grow really, really big in this pond right here. And so the bait fish aren't immediately all going to get eaten. They're going to get a little acclimated. They're going to work their way around, maybe even do a little bit of spawning in here, make more bait fish. It'll be a good time. Now, before we go over to the hatchery, I need you guys to do something that's super, super important. I want to load this thing with bait even more. You guys have been giving me so many great ideas with the backyard ponds between this pond and the muddier pond over there that we put the big ass magnolia crappies in there. I want you guys to drop a thumbs up right now. And for every thumbs up, I'm going to put one bait fish in this pond. You know what else I'm gonna do? Every comment down below, I'm gonna put a bait fish in this pond and every share I'll put 10 bait fish in this pond. Let's see if we can get this son bitch to like 100,000 likes, comments, shares. And then I'll probably be broke and not making YouTube videos and Facebook videos anymore for you guys. But it'll be fun for you anyway. But uh, we need to get this son bitch loaded up, Cole. So I'm thinking we want swarming, we want schools of stuff just everywhere and have a bass feeding bonanza. And maybe I'll actually be able to catch some fish out of here when the water's not 90 degrees. All right, we'll see you at the hatchery that fast yeah so that's that's the problem is that you know they grow too big too fast that makes total sense yeah so your bass you know unless you have a monster's bass yeah which even if you do you only might you know have one or two or three or four i mean it's still not enough to control that see i didn't realize that they grew that fast yeah. but it makes makes sense why they wreck every fishery yeah, yeah. small fishery that is yeah exactly yeah, I think I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. They're kind of getting low on food, I think. I don't see any bluegill swimming around anymore. Copper nose bluegill, you said? Dip crappie? I don't. You That's know, cool. Everyone's been asking for them. No yeah, yeah, we just, uh, it's not quite time yet. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're still not really ramping up our production yet. Um, we're just slowly getting into it. Uh -huh. but yeah, we haven't brought in any crappie yet. Uh, but you're like the at least 10th person. Of course, that. yeah. yeah question for you about crappie from a previous video. Okay. Caught some magnolia crappie. Mm -hmm. Are they truly um, sterile or do they reproduce? Because people said both things in the comments. Okay. Without genetically testing it, you don't truly know. Um, the theory behind the magnolia crappie is you get a magnolia and you breed it with a female white crappie and then supposedly those are those are sterile but I think even a percentage because a lot of people claim you know a hybrid crappie yeah uh, I mean we know that a hybrid crappie will still reproduce and you just won't get as high numbers in reproduction that's why they're better for smaller ponds gotcha. um, I'm actually still working on it I've been doing a lot more research on on breeding my own because I wanted I want to breed some yeah, sterile crappie. Yeah. Um, I think we're not tapping into that market enough but yeah, definitely. It, yeah, um, that's interesting. The only downside with, with, with doing that crappie is they're just going to cost a lot more because we have to put so much into of them. Of course, yeah, them yeah. In. So if two can two hybrids have babies or no? Honestly, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I was um, looking a bunch of stuff up and nothing's on the internet about it really. But. A lot of people don't mess with crappie. Did people? Yeah. People don't think you know crappie or, or your, where your money's at. It just it, it takes too much. It's just like pellet, pellet training a crappie. Uh huh. It's doable, yeah. but it's extremely hard. And by the time you do it, you know, what you'd pay, you know, less than a dollar for a crappie, you're gonna end up paying five or $6 for a crappie. Right. You know, and then just people don't don't, don't like to. Of and, course. And I understand, you know. Yeah, makes um, makes total sense. But uh, yeah, I'm still doing, doing a lot of stuff on my crappie. Um, 
and, and hopefully I can start making more videos because I'm, I'm just trying to find a good way to be able to feed them. That's yeah, the, that's yeah. the biggest thing too. Yeah. To get them to size to be able to sell. Do they, will they eat, um, obviously, thread fin shad and stuff, they oh. probably tear those up, but like minnows and stuff, oh, good yeah. forage for them. They just, minnows probably don't reproduce fast enough to. Well, they just the crappie reproduce too fast. Of course, yeah. yeah. Cool, all right, well, we're gonna need to feed them. Yeah. Um, probably need, you said to get shiners and fathead minnows. I do. Broke off and turned oh Um, you can just lay them here. I'm gonna throw them in the boat, probably. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yes, Take it easy. Right. Thank you. All right. Cool. We're gonna have to have you sit back here and hold this in, okay? It's only two hours to go on the interstate. It should be good. Watch this, Cole. This is what you don't want. Need some air. Should take a while to fill. Stand full. Osborne, we got an issue. Your brother, the Brainiac, drove the ATV into a damn stump. Exploded the tire and the rim. So, we're gonna have to do some manual labor today. Deal? Leave that there. Put some fish on dads. And you do this one, all right? All right, push it back to the pond. Go. We're right behind you. Go ahead. You want to carry it? Okay. Here. Carry it? Okay, great, awesome. Guess I'm doing all the work again. All right. We're back and we freaking load it up. You bet. Don't stab it. Don't stab them. You gonna stab some holes? You see the fish? Look at them. See all the fish with bluegill and shiners? I don't think we got minnows, but I'm pretty sure it's just bluegills and shiners. Yeah, daddy's gonna have to use some of those for bait. He's too stupid to catch them on lures. Yeah. There is a couple thread fins in there. Those things need to go hump. No thread fins in the whole state for sale, Becky. They died last year in the cold, except for those two. All right, Bajorn and Emmy. Look at she's like, what the? All right, Ozzy, we gotta do the really boring, not exciting part first, okay? Come on, let's feed the fish in every day, slowly, a little bit at a time in the future. Ready? You dump it in? 
Come smell it. Come smell it. it smells like burning flesh. It's so good. Now for the fish, throw some in. Go give it to the fish. Throw it in. Throw it in. Wow, they're eating it like crazy. It's a feeding frenzy. No, not more. Oh! oh. Ozzy, can you say Yahtzee? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Thank you so much for the beer. This break in the filling of the containers is brought to you by Can of Bliss IPA, resinous, whatever that means. Nah. You want this one? No, good choice. All right, we lock it up so the coons don't get in there now. You can see all the damn handprints right there. Or maybe that's yours. Probably yours. Let's get some fish in here, bro. What do we got? We were looking over here. I can't believe this. Roll wasn't hitting us. I thought he was lying. There is actually, mixed in with these bluegill, a couple right there. There's one of them. Another one right there. Thread fin shad. That makes me so excited because they reproduce like crazy. And so do the gizzard shad. If you guys were listening, Roll said exactly the problem with gizzard shad though. They get about that big in one year and then they overpopulate, and then they get that big, then they have more and more and more babies, and before you know it, the water's chocolate milk, and all the shad are too big for the bass to eat, and they have a bunch of eggs, and they eat the bass eggs, and all your game fish are gone, and all your shad are that size, and you have a huge issue. But, threadfin shad only get about that big, and they're always edible for the bass. Problem is, they all got killed last year in the cold front in Texas, so, we're getting a couple back at a time. If any of you guys know where to get threadfin shad, I'm gonna put about 600 million of them in there because it's gonna be a freaking feast galore. I would love you if you knew where to get those. Go find them, MFers. Okay, let's play man off. You wanna play with the couple too? We're supposed to acclimate the bluegills, so we gotta put those in. And then the shiners, he said the tank's about right. So we'll play with some shiners. Come here, let's play with some shiners, bro. Got my boots on finally. Come here, Oz. This for your hair. Just kidding, don't take that. Want a shiner? They do always double wrap them really good. All right. Ready to see them? Whoa, take them. No, you don't want the rubber band. Get him, throw them in. That one's escaped you. Gotta be a little quicker. Gotta be quicker than that. Yeah, you bet. Ready? That one's yours, get him. Grab him by his head, throw him in. Okay, that kind of worked. All right, let's try it again. Maybe one of these will survive. Oh, oh! I don't know where you learned these yelling from. Grab him. Oh no, get him. Throw him in. Good job! Give me five! Boom! Pound it! You bet. Can you say deal? <laughs> Can I get a you bet? You bet! Deal! Ready? Wanna do another one? Get him! Get him off the ground! He's gonna get in! He's getting away! Grab him! Got him by his head. Get him, you got this, you can do it. Get him, he's gonna die, hurry. Oh, he lived, woo! Should we throw them all in? Yep, say, good. say bye. Say bye, Shiners, hope you die. Go get eaten. Wow, look at them go to their new home, hopefully in a stomach. Holy balls! We should have been using that for bait. Immediate death. I think that was one you threw in, Oz. Good call. I'm glad you told him that. Spookiest damn fish in the world, just swimming around, won't eat anything. I'm in the water and they're five feet from me, blowing up shad and shiners. Okay, let's put more in, deal. I like your idea. <laughs> hey, Becky, you wanna grab that jerk bait? <laughs> 
here. I'm going to throw him one. Watch this, Ozzy. This one's dead. I don't know if he'll eat a dead one. Where's he at? I don't see him anymore. Mm. I can see the fish like crazy now. I just went over the bass went. We got these new waterlands that are gonna be like our bed fishing lens. Total shameless plug here. They don't have any reflective on them or anything. They're just like bare, raw, and they're the most high contrast glasses I've ever used. They're exciting. Ready? All right, take your pick. Make it rain. Grab one. Here, open your hand. Put your hand out. Hand out like this. Grab him, throw him out there. Woo! Yes! I'm gonna squeeze some of their heads so they get eaten. Do some more? Here, get those off the ground. We have a long ways to go. Did you get that one? Throw him in, get him! Grab him! <laughs> It'll be okay, grab him, you got this. Oh, is this a bluegill? That's a bluegill one too. Mama, do you want to go swimming? No. You go swimming? No. You don't want to go in? No, 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 Dad. Do you want to eat one, Ozzy? Yuck. Here, eat this one. This is a little guy. You eat it? Eat it. You gonna eat it? Here, watch. Oh, <laughs> bad fake. Dad's not much of a magician. Ready? Oh, oh. See? You wanna try it? Eat it. Is it good? Try it. Say. That works too. Probably a good choice. Uh oh. There's only three more bags. <laughs> you ready for more? Should we do more? These are a different type of fish. You want to see these? These are called bluegill. You've seen them before. I think they're bluegill. Wow, look at them, so pretty, wow. Yeah, they'll spike you a little bit, unlike the shiners. Very good. So we find the shad, there's a shad. You should probably be more careful. That's a good size thread fin shad right there. Gotta be really careful with the couple that are in here because we want them to reproduce. You, you probably shouldn't grab and squeeze those. Of course, shad are tough to keep alive, so. They'll probably die in about eight seconds. Look at this bluegill. Should have filleted him. Throw this big one in. Two-hander. You bet. Can you say, deal? You bet. Deal. Look at these. So yeah, these are actually <laughs> pretty legit size. I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd be this big, but still big enough for a bass to eat. Small enough for a bass to eat, but maybe in like a year or so, we'll be able to do some catch and cooks with those guys. It's okay. Well, they need to go in the water, so it's okay. Should we see if we can find another shad? I'm just gonna drool. Uh, yeah. Hi, Shad. Did you say hi, Shad? Bye, Shad. You're gonna die. <laughs> Say hi, Bluegill. Hi, Dad. Dad, Dad. That was a big one. Good toss. Mom, do you want to touch any? Are you sure? Okay, bye, Bluegill. Well, shit, Ozzy, I didn't know you were gonna be so entertaining today. That's so you guys can comment what you think Ozzy's YouTube channel should be called. Max's is already gonna be fishing to the max, FTM.
Father Zach said FTM 10 is going to be live on Sixth Sense soon. A lot of deaths happening around us. I like it. They do exist! Come here, Oz. I gotta show you something. Ozzy. Oh, wow. That's that a leaf. Here, Oz. Look at this one. This one's gonna be a really good one. Come here. Wanna come get it? Here. It's a little one, so it doesn't have big spines, okay? Oh, he's in your shirt! <laughs> What's he doing? Is he in there? There, there he is. Here, look. And throw him in. Jay, sorry, we had a little fun with you, but that was, you gonna smell like a fish now? Yeah, your teacher's gonna be calling the Child Protective Services on us tomorrow. Hiya. Don't tell her, okay? Great. Look at all of them. Woo! <laughs> almost done. Okay. Almost done. We got a bunch in here, but we're almost done. These are bigger. Roll did us right. Did you hear what he was saying about fish in there? Hurry up, you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss it. You better throw some more in. Come here, come throw some in. Grab some food. Let's throw it in. Go up there and throw it. Just don't fall in or do whatever. Oh my god. No, that's... See, nothing lives there. It would be the smallest fish in the world. And now you gave it the most food in the world. Okay? So that was what we call a waste. Go to your room, you're grounded. Ah! Talk about a waste. <laughs> oh, that was badass. I didn't know my assistant was going to be so into it. I haven't done this for a while, so these stockings are going to get more and more fun, I think, with Osborne. Don't forget, like, comment, share this video with someone you think would think this was cool, and uh, let us know what you think we should add to the pond. We're just going to sit here, and dogs are going to run around, and me and Ozzy are going to go polish off a case of beer. Thanks for watching this one, though, Mavers. Catch you soon. I'm out of here. Can you say peace?